neighborhood here, too. They're all part of the neighborhood community. Hey. Or at least they should be. <laughs> How was everybody's evening? I fell asleep early, didn't I? Yeah, you fell asleep. Did you stay asleep? Yeah, I think so. So, I, was, I woke up. I was up at 2 for a little while. Mm -hmm, that's when I went to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and I turned my show on, right? Mm hmm. You rewinded it again. <laughs> so, Val's show. She has this show. I can't, I don't even know what it's called. Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie. <laughs> I sit there doing, you know, the vlogging and all that stuff, and, and she puts it on and falls asleep. So I watch three or four episodes of her show. Then she wakes up and rewinds it because she missed it all. So I get to watch it again as she falls asleep. Again. So there is this one episode I saw four times. I don't like that show. <laughs> well, it wasn't a sh it wasn't a show that I would normally watch, but I was bored and I ran out of my shows, so I said, "Oh, let's check this one out." So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning today. Um. I can do more scraping today. Um, it's, it's getting hot, but that doesn't bother me too much. Problem is that we didn't get a check that we were expecting, so I can't afford to buy paint right now. And so all I can do is prep work, anticipation. Hopefully the painting will only take a day. All right, so here's the plan for today. Um, I do not have the cash to buy the paint that I want at Don Edwards, which is where I usually go. But I uh, do have some credit at Home Depot, so I'm going to go to Home Depot and get the paint there. Um, probably a little more expensive, but um, I, I shouldn't be too much more expensive. Then um, Home Depot is about 15 minutes away. There isn't a close one here in town, so I got to go there and uh, put gas in the car, um, get paint, get some supplies, and come back. Hopefully it won't be too hot to, to do what I have to do. Would like to get this done in the next couple of days. Would be awesome. And that's it. And I'll be gone. Well guys, we got some more bad news today. My mother's in the hospital now. She's got pneumonia and they are not letting her go home. They're keeping her in the hospital because they can't get her blood pressure under control and she's been having problems with her carotid artery. Um, so there's really no one there to help take care of my dad that right now. Um, so I need to try and get there as soon as I possibly can so that two week grace period that I thought I had to take care of some stuff here and finish up some stuff here and to take care of Bootsy kind of just went out the window. <laughs> so Kevin's looking up tickets now and uh, I'm trying to make some arrangements for some other things that I needed to get done. So we have, um, we're trying to get um, a ticket, a one-way ticket out to um, Fayetteville, which is being difficult for the next day or so. Megan's coming in this week, and um, we have an appointment for Bootsy on Thursday, which we, we would like to uh, see if we can get that um, t tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing a lot of driving around tomorrow if we pull this off. And um, so we'll have to take uh, Bootsy to the doctor tomorrow morning. And it looks like I have a 10.45 flight for Val out of LAX. 10.45 a.m.? 10.45 p.m. Okay. On uh, t tomorrow. So uh, I'll check Ontario tickets too, see if we can get out of Ontario. See what, because um, then I, I could just take you there. 
we'll see what happens. So that's the fun for today. Well, Bell's leaving me again. We're gonna, we had a heck of a day today, and we're going to have a heck of a day tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it looks like uh, we, ha we are going to um, go back to Corona tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, we're going to try and get Bootsy in to see Dr. Bart tomorrow. But they said they're booked, so if they cannot get us in tomorrow, we um, have an appointment at another uh, place. Uh, we don't know how much that's going to cost, but, um, um, and Val has, we've booked a flight to North Carolina tomorrow as well. I would like to say thank you to a few people because without these people, this stuff would not be happening right now. Um, Bambi, thank you so, so, so very much from the bottom of our hearts. You have no idea how much you mean to us. If it was not for Bambi, we would not be able to be getting Bootsy taken care of um, as quickly as we need to or at all. So thank you, Bambi. Um, Thank you to my sister Karina who bought my airline ticket to go back to North Carolina so I can be with my dad. Thank you to Miss Mary and to EJ Giggy for their donations. Um, that'll come in very, very handy because I'm going to need some money to travel on and to have some money while I'm back in North Carolina. And just thank you to the whole community for all your love and support and thoughts and prayers and uh, it's going to be a rough trip but um, I'll try and keep the smiles coming and uh, the videos coming. In the meantime I am going to um, finish what I started here as a matter of fact with Val gone it'll be easier for me to get it done. <laughs> But uh, I already got the paint, so I was able to uh, get paint. I had to go to Home Depot. I had to drive all the way to Burbank to do that, <laughs> by the way. But uh, I got what I needed, and, that w and Val's done a, a lot of cleaning already today, and I will finish that up. It's come to the end of a very horrible day. It was a hard day. It so, wasn't horrible. But... It was horrible. All right. So, so glad that it is over. Well, we get a big day tomorrow. And it's not going to be any better tomorrow. Nope. Because we moved Bootsy's appointment. We managed to move her appointment from Thursday to tomorrow. And we have... We pretty much know what the vet's going to say. Yeah. So I'm preparing myself for that already. I talked to my mother for a few minutes. Made me laugh because she sounds like Kermit the Frog. So she has pneumonia, huh? She has pneumonia. They can't get her. When she was checked into the hospital, her blood pressure, or her heart rate was over 200 and they couldn't get it to come down and her blood pressure was all over the place hmm. so yeah so we're going to be splitting up again we've got Aphrodite it's the first time he's actually calmed down enough to sit she with us she usually bites me <laughs> Thor, yeah. Thor's got an itch <laughs> All right, well, it's crazy zoo around here. We'll tell you. see you tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, be prepared for waterworks. Bye.